not something everyone knows, but when writing papers which refer to specific plants and animals, knowing how to use scientific names properly is a must. The standard scientific name has two words. In the case of Echinacea purpurea, Echinacea is the genus, purpurea is the epithet. Scientific names should always be italicized. If it isn't possible for whatever reason, like you're using a typewriter or handwriting your submission, then underline the scientific name. The first letter of the genus is capitalized, and then there is a space. Then the epithet is listed. This word is not capitalized. Whenever you refer to the epithet, the genus must also be listed. Always spell out the scientific name in the title, abstract, and introduction. After this, you may abbreviate the full name to the first letter of the genus and the full epithet. Abbreviations are acceptable as long as you're not using them to start a sentence. Or if there are other genus that you're referring to in your paper, which starts with the same letter. It's also acceptable to abbreviate other species names if they are of the same genus. When referring to families, orders, kingdoms, or classes, the terms are to be capitalized, but not italicized. Do not attempt to make scientific names plural. Common names are not usually capitalized, but there are exceptions to be aware of, such as with birds. If you have questions about writing scientific names, check out pages 173 to 174 in your writing papers in the Biological Sciences book by Macmillan. If you don't yet have a copy, you may borrow one to use inside the libraries on the Maine and Pruitt campuses. Don't hesitate to ask a librarian for assistance. Created using Powtoon.